everyone, today we're going to combine two of my favorite things, Orbeez. Oh yeah, that's a whole jar of Orbeez, right? Those are fun. And making jewelry. Oh wow, you made this super cool bracelet. And this bracelet. And that bracelet. And this bracelet. And this cool bracelet. And this bracelet. Whoa, this one's made out of Orbeez, assistant. Right, and I also made this thing that says love. Well, you made that out of Orbeez? Yeah, and the resin, of course. So you made this out of Orbeez and resin. Look at that, people. Do you see all the Orbeez inside of it? Wow. And it says love because we love science. So we're using science and Orbeez to make cool art projects, right? Right, and the first mold that I'm going to do is this XOXO one. XOXO. -X -O, so right? I'm going to do two X's and two O's. Okay. So now I'm going to pick out some of my Orbeez, which I have right here. I'm going to try not to use clear ones, though. All right, so now I'm going to add the base layer. You just got to put a little bit in, right? And since it's a, it's a fluid or a liquid, it'll automatically spread itself, right? Right. So you just got to put a little bit in right in the middle. Okay. Maybe a little bit less this time. Good job. And then you can kind of just tilt it back and forth, right? To spread it because it's a fluid. And fluids automatically glow, go to the low spots. And that's really helpful, assistant, because that means that it evenly spreads throughout. All right, just need to finish spreading out the O part. Okay. The X is completely covered. Okay. Make sure that lid's on tight. All right. What's an X like this one? Taking out the clear ones. Yeah, because the clear ones don't really look like anything, do they? Nah, they just, uh, like, you know, disappear. Yeah, because they're clear and the resin's clear, right? Right. And if you wanted to, you could probably put other things in there, too, like... Dye. Like dyes and glitter. I think I'll put a couple of purples in there. Maybe if I can find a pink. There we go. That's pink. Now blue. And you could probably put a couple Orbeez in it, it too. Alright. Okay, so this is to spread it, right? No, that's actually to put the glitter in with the top. So this oh. right here is like the top of the spoon, and then you could spread it if you want. So what color do you want in there? Blue. Hmm. Okay. So she's open it up, and then you just take it, right? And then you just scoop it up with that. And then you spread it with the rest of it, with the other end of it. You can just dump it in. And then use the other side of it. To, to mix it. it? Yeah, to mix it. Well, I was thinking about doing like a whole layer of it. That way, it's like just on one side of it. OK. Are you going to put an Orby better. in it? Yep. I think I'm just going to do all blue Orbeez. All right, so look. All right, so the assistant put a layer of blue in there. All right, so she's got her base layer and she's put her glitter in one side, right? Right. Almost done, just need one more, then two more, so three more. Three more? Yep. Actually, I think I only need one more after. And it says, if you need a smaller Orby, what can you do? You just, Look for the ones that are shrunk. Or you can cut them in half with scissors, right? Yeah. That works too. So now, do I put a top layer on all yep, these? Yeah, put a top layer on it. Just a little bit, right? Yep. And people at home, when we're done with that, she's going to make a, a dog bone. Although Wiggles and Waggles can't actually eat it. Can I spread it with this side? Nope, you don't need to. Go ahead and fill it, because remember, it'll, it'll, it will, it will level itself, so if you're not careful, it'll actually put bubbles in it. That was a lot. Yep, okay, and then do your X. That was a lot, too. I think you got way too much in, but that's okay. <laughs> so you can actually use the back side of that now to actually... Uh, this? Yes. To um, kind of remove it so you, it's easier for you to get it off. So you just 
gonna kind of get it off and then put it right into a little paper towel that you have to kind of wipe those edges off. And then kind of push some of it in the middle so you don't have any gaps there. So the O looks pretty good, I think. Okay, so now just use the black light to cure it. Cure it. Alright. So this is a high powered black light. She's curing it. So first she's going to cure the tops of all three, and then she's going to cure the bottom. Alright, so I think you've got that one. Now she's doing the O, and now she's going to do the X. The other X. We still have to do another O. We'll do that later. We're going to do the bone next. All right. And now, this is it. Now you can flip it over gently on the other side. Nope, just lift the top of it up like this. And then just kind of go underneath. There you go. That way, the UV light can go through the silicon mold and finish curing it. That's good. Uh, I think you gotta get the other side of the X. There you go. Go up on the top of it. And then just kind of like wipe at it like you're painting it almost all through all three of them. Alright, good, good. Now do the top. Same way. Like you're, almost like, like I said, just like you're, oh, you're flashing it. There you go. Just round. Alright, let's see how that does. You might need to do a little bit more after you pull it out. Let's see. Okay, now I'm going to do this side. It should be okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's the X. Ooh, I think we got a little bit extra on the sides. Yeah. X. Yeah, I think we put a little too much in. That's okay. We can trim it up. A parent can trim it up for you to make it look perfect. The O has just a little bit in the middle. Oh, the O looks perfect. I can't. I don't think they're you're putting in front of the camera though. There you go. Oh yeah, look at that. I'll trim the X. I got it. This is the other X. This is the glitter yet. This is glitter X. Right there. They all can probably cure just a little bit longer. This X right here has a lot of extra on I think this X is pretty good, pretty cured. the glitter so I'll clean that one up so I got this X a little bit and you can tell that the color makes a big difference too that you put in there right right so there's this X oh I dropped it I dropped my X I dropped your X I should say all right so there the X and then so here's the X O X O X and then let me uh. put a little on this And then we'll put that there. Whoop, let's slip it on that side. And so let's move your hands. XO, XO with. That's your O, you have to like imagine. Mm -hmm. XO, 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 right? Right. All right, assistant, you ready for the next one? I'm ready. All righty, so now we're going to make this heart. So you're going to fill that heart up with resin, right? And with and Orbeez. Right. Okay. So here it is. So explain what you're doing. Pouring a thin layer of resin down. Okay. Put it all the way around it. There you go. Now we're gonna wait a second, let it all spread out. Oh, maybe pour a little bit more on one side. Move your left arm. A little bit. Right there we go. Good job. All right, now we need some Orbeez. Orbeez, so you got a cup of Orbeez right there, right? How many? Uh, I don't know, 10, 20? 
10 or 15 maybe. That's good. I would have it all the way around. That's probably good. Okay. So now we cure it, right? Now we put a little bit more resin on it. Oh yeah. Just kind of cover them up. Good. A little bit more. I think on that edge you didn't get any over there. On the left side. There you go. Good, good, good. All right, and now we're going to cure it. Cure it. So we've got on this one, since it's so big, we've got two UV lights. We got one there, and we've got this one right here. I really got to push down on this one though. Yeah, she's going to push down on it so it doesn't actually leak out the sides. Here, we're going to do around the edge and then it won't leak anymore. Okay, push down right there on the, on the left side. And you got a little bit of an air bubble. All right. All right, assistant, why don't you grab this light right here and I'll grab that one. We're just going to kind of act like we're painting it almost. It on and we're gonna show it to you when it's done, right? Right, it just needs to cure for a minute. Yeah. So this is the heart. We got it out of the mold. We did, we had to leave it and cure it a little bit longer. So let's show the people at home what it looks like. So that is the heart, right? Right. So you used Orbeez and you used resin to make this super cool heart, right? Right, and now I'll put it next to the love sign. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, so you got a heart, you've got Love, right? And then you've got your XOXO. Where's the O? So here's the heart, and here's the O. X O X. Well, look at all that sweet. So that was all made with Orbeez and UV light and science, right, assistant? Right. Let's see if I can try to stand these up. Now, Perfect. Now the Orbeez might shrink eventually, right? Right, but that's okay. We get to look at them right now. That's right. So it's a fun science experiment with Orbeez, UV resin, black lights, and a little bit of fun, right? Right. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye, everyone.